With PixFirst AI on the scene, your days of spending hours editing a single video are behind you. Don't believe me? Tag along on this comprehensive walkthrough of the platform and see for yourself. Step 1. Breaking and Entering Just kidding, there's no cracking or hacking involved whatsoever. As unbelievable as it sounds, PixFirst is a web-based and completely free video creation platform. So all you need to do is head on over to their website. It looks something like this. Click on the Get Started in Web button over here and the platform will open in a new tab. Again, this is nothing to worry about. It's not a gimmick, it's just something to help improve user experience. Anyway, as you can see, you can log in using two different services. However, if you don't have Gmail or Discord, you can register using a few simple steps. Once you've punched in all your details, you'll get a six-digit code in your mailbox. Enter it and you're in. It was pretty simple, right? And I don't know if you all noticed, but there were no payment details. Zilch! Step 2. Getting down to business. Now that you're in, you'll notice a wide variety of videos on the homepage. If you're low on inspiration, these might come in handy. I, for one, really liked this one of a white dragon. For those of you who've a clear idea of what you want to do, click on the Create button at the top instead. It's got a gradient and should be pretty hard to miss. Upon clicking it, you'll be taken to a creation station of sorts. On your left, you'll notice two options. You can either use text or image to create your desired video. I'll test both. Let's do text first. For the text option, you'll get two dialog boxes. They should be at your left. The first box simply says Prompt, which I think is easy enough to understand. I'm going to go with something simple. Of course, you can experiment as much as you want. The next box, meanwhile, says negative prompt. In layman's terms, it's anything that you don't want in your video. Again, I'll keep things simple and ask for no trees. With that done, scroll down and pick one of the three given styles. You've got realistic, anime, or 3D animation as your options. I'm going to test out anime. As for the aspect ratios, I picked the 16-9 widescreen one. You can pick one based on the type of content you're trying to make. With everything done, click Create. Give it some time and voila, here's my finished product. Now, before I move on to the image option, as you might have noticed, there's an upscale option. For anyone who is happy with their work, simply click the download icon at the bottom of your video. But in case you want some more oomph, click upscale and it should improve the pixels. Another upside to this platform is that you can stack videos as well. Let me show you with another prompt. I'm going to start with a clean slate. Let's do bunnies this time around. Since I'm not a big fan of blueberries, let's leave those out. For those of you who are curious about this dual clips option here, don't fret, I'll come back to it. So yeah, once you've got your prompts done, scroll down to the style option, select one, click create, and then select another and click create again, like so. Here's my four videos. They didn't turn out that great, but in the platform's defense, my prompt wasn't either. And that, my friends, is where the dual clips option comes in. It simply improves upon your prompt to give you a clip to compare to your original. With that said, let's test the platform out with an image. As is obvious, you need to upload an image. I chose a sunflower. Now, let's follow this up with a prompt. Down here, you can see a few more options. Go ahead and experiment with them if you like. For instance, you could try cranking the strength of motion up to get a lot more action out of your video. I'm not in the mood for experimenting today, so I'm going to stick with the given settings. As for the HD option, I'm not going to try it out either to lessen processing times. After clicking Create, here's my final result. Yeah, I know, it's nothing much to look at, but let's not forget, I haven't tried things out to their full capacity. It's either that or their text option simply fares better than their image one. Now, if, like me, your results end up disappointing you, don't fret. Here's what you can do. Step 3. Go back to the drawing board. Let's say I didn't like this 3D animation of my bunny, so here's what I'll do to fix it. I'm gonna click on it. I know there's a lot of other options here. There's this heart option that I'll explain in a bit, and you can also rate your videos like so. Going back to the point, if you want your video to turn out a little differently, click retry. This is going to generate a slightly different video using the same prompt. Take a look. 
it changed the background in this one. On the other hand, another's given me a completely different character to work with as well. Circling back to the heart option, let's head on over to the home page to see how it works. Remember the dragon video from before? Well, let's say I want to save it. That's what the heart is for. It allows you to add the video to the My Collection section at the top. So on days where you're fresh out of ideas, just simply go to the section and let other people's videos inspire you. I've only added two for demonstration, but you could go on adding as you start to get the hang of the platform. Another interesting way you could put other people's works to use is by copying their seating and motion settings and inserting them into those for your own video. All I'm saying here is that there's multiple ways to salvage things on this platform. Step 4. Aborting Mission In a situation where your project is too ugly to look at, so much so that it's starting to haunt you, I've got your back. Hop on over to the My Videos section of the homepage, locate the project, and click on it. I'm going to get rid of the sunflower. Notice those three vertical dots in the top right corner? Click on them and it should give you two options. Select Delete, click OK on the pop-up box, and lo and behold, you've been delivered. Head back to the creation station and repeat steps one through three to come up with something better. For those of you who are struggling to come up with a way to use the platform, let me give you a few quick ideas. They're all absolutely legal, don't worry. Besides, the platform has some kind of prompt moderator in place, so you wouldn't be able to get away with illegal stuff anyway. This is what popped up when I tried to get it to make a devilish figure walking through hell. Pretty cool if you ask me. Having said that, the first thing that you could do is make faceless YouTube videos on your subject of interest. Not only is it safer, considering how identity theft and deep fakes are on the rise these days, but with enough clicks, you could start bringing in a good amount of passive income as well. Moving on, and as stupid as this sounds, this platform could come in handy for special occasions like birthdays or anniversaries. I don't know about you, but I'd love to receive a 3D animation wishing me a happy birthday. Similarly, if you're a teacher or in a profession that requires visual aids, you could use this platform to create a variety of engaging materials. All I'm saying is, there's endless possibilities. Just keep the steps in mind and in a few days' time, I trust you to come up with something amazing. And let's conclude your crash course on that note. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below, like this video, and subscribe for more how-tos.